I have a humongous 70 inch LED TV. This is made by Sharp. The display is broken, but it still turns on. So I know the LED backlight is still good. Today I will disassemble and tear it down to show you what's inside, what can be salvaged, and maybe I can turn it into something useful. Let's get started. Right, so here is the inside of the TV. There's not much in here. We got a power supply, the video part, the LED inverter, we got two speakers. And that's it. There's not much on the back of the TV. So here is the broken LCD screen itself, it's huge, this part here is part where it's broken and it's spread all over the screen, and how skinny that is, very thin display. Now that the LCD is out, let me show you what's underneath the LCD itself, you got one layer two layer, three layers of very thin plastic. These are the diffuser for the light. And then one thick piece of plexiglass. This is, this is white. It's not see-through, but it's white piece of plexiglass. It's pretty cool. It's big is the entire panel so it's a pretty big piece of plexiglass i can use this for a lot of things very useful behind the plexiglass is the led light itself there are so many of these here and the led is enclosed in some sort of plastic uh, like a bubble plastic bubble i would say and there are so many of these here. I've just counted the total number of LED lights itself and there are a total of 420 LEDs on this panel. This is the, the middle layer of the, of the uh, diffuser and I find it rather strange. It's, uh, it's see-through. You can see my hands behind it. But then it acts also acts like a mirror. See, you can see the mirror image of my hands right here. So that's, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a see-through mirror. It's very strange effect. It probably didn't show up really well in the camera. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can see the mirror effect. Just like a mirror. Now let's do some tests on the diffuser and see what I can do with it. Um, I got a... Uh, homemade LED lights here. Uh, this is just from a regular LCD TV and I salvaged this LED from an, uh, a broken LED TV and uh, I just power it with a couple of uh, battery on the back here. But anyway, um, it doesn't have a diffuser. So when I turn it on, it's really hot on the eyes. I can't look straight onto it. It looks like the sun when I look straight at the light. So I definitely need a diffuser. And let's see uh, what happens. Use the uh, diffuser from this TV. So this is the just one single layer. It looks okay, but we can still see the, uh, the LED lights. Layer on it. Alright. So this is two layers in which the, the second layer is the, the mirror layer. Very strange effect. It's better, a little bit better. Let's see we put three layers diffuser on it to see what happens. Okay. Let's 
So this is the three layers of diffuser. Looks pretty nice. I mean, you don't, you can't see the individual LED anymore. It uh, looks a lot better, and the the output is uh, evenly distributed. That's pretty cool. So three layers definitely make a big difference. Let me show you this piece of plexiglass here. This is the last layer before we go to the LED itself on the uh, TV. It's about, I would say, two millimeter thick plexiglass, and it's white. And I would say it will make a great diffuser panel. It's huge. Now let's put it to the test here and see if we make a good diffuser panel on my uh, LED screen. Alright, here we go. Let's turn this on. Now that looks pretty nice. This is even better than the three layers of the uh, thinner uh, diffuser. This piece of plexiglass glass will make a great diffuser panel. And the light is very evenly distributed, so it's pretty cool. So now that we know how this works, works really well, uh, my next project is to find a way to power up the LED lights and then put this right back in. And then I'm gonna have a very inexpensive and very bright and very nice looking uh, LED lights for photography or for videography and also because this is a TV so it's got a TV wall mount on the back and that's the wall mount right there so I can mount this on a wall and make it a very nice looking LED light and that's all for now I'll see you in the next video